in times of universal deceit, telling the truth is indeed a revolutionary act. Welcome to the times of universal deceit, where you have a front row seat as the powers that be scramble to stifle dissent, control your mind, and change your worldview. And how do they do this? Through state-controlled media propaganda outlets. And how do we know they do this? Stay tuned. First, no matter what you may think about Donald Trump in specific or politics in general, there is in our land an epidemic of fake news. And the grand irony of the awareness of this fact is that some of the organizations that warn us about fake news are themselves the prolific propagators of fraudulent articles, nefarious practices, underhanded tactics, sneaky deceptions, deceptive programming, and even staged tragedies, all aimed at cramming their agenda down the throats of America and the world. Now, there's a lot of fake news organizations out there, but the current reigning king of state-controlled fake news media is CNN. Here are just a few undeniable examples, examples that every person on this planet needs to see. CNN has quickly come to be known as the counterfeit news network, the communist news network, and most glaring of all, the Clinton news network. They themselves admit that they had been the biggest ones promoting the Clinton campaign. She's on her way to deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know I mean, she's she's I got know. just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know I mean, she's, she's I know. got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign. We also know that CNN stages actors and even makes up stories in order to push agendas like the furtherance of wars in other countries. Remember Charles Jaco? He was the CNN reporter famous for covering the 1990 Persian Gulf War. Here, he and fellow correspondent Carl Rochelle were caught staging a theatrical display, a poorly executed display complete with horrible acting, in which they tried to deceive their audience into thinking that they were in immediate danger as the CNN crew played siren and missile sound effects while the stage actors stood in front of a blue screen. My, my apologies for that. He's uh, putting on a gas mask. There hasn't been any gas dropped here that we could tell. You smell anything? Uh, no. You, probably, you may smell some of the fumes from uh, a, uh, a missile exhaust going off. The missiles use a rocket, a cordite, some sort of burning. And uh, we just heard a little, little thump just then. But uh, I have to apologize for that. I, I caught a whiff of something and felt momentarily uh, dizzy. You're more experienced in <laughs> military affairs than I am. But it might have been a little um, gas from the, uh, from the rocket exhaust. There well, apparently wasn't anything. A lot of people have the respirators on just in case. Here, CNN tries to deceive us into believing that this reporter just randomly chose a guy off the streets of Chicago to interview. Turns out, the guy is John Gurkovic, a CNN cameraman, and somebody forgot to let Don Lemon know that this was a staged event in order to promote the idea that the election of Donald Trump wasn't fair and that Hillary should be the president-elect. I believe in you, Hillary. I've been to Rwanda. I've been to your hospital in Rwanda. I've seen all the good you've done. Well, I you believe did. in you. Women need you. Minorities need you. I need you. Chicago needs you. We all need you. This country needs you to stand up and walk into the Supreme Court and say one vote equals one vote. What's wrong with that? What's the debate? You definitely feel his passion. There's other people out here who feel the same way. Don't At one play. point, you had people who were blocking his road. Chicago police moved in. Everything has remained peaceful. Like I said, Don, as you see, thousands of people still continue to gather. But like you heard this man, very passionate about the idea. He doesn't want Hillary to stop. Yeah. Brian, you know I used to live there, and I know that guy. That's John Gurkovic. He actually went to Africa with me as a cameraman. Don't! But anyway, that's another yep. story. He's, all right, thank you, John. Thank you very much, Ryan. CNN also routinely cuts mics when the truth is being told. And this is not an isolated incident. Check this out. You know, some Republicans out there have been saying that Ron Paul would be very dangerous for this country because he wants to bring troops like you back from your post from all over the world. Well, I think it would be even more dangerous to start nitpicking wars with other countries. Someone like Iran. Israel is more than capable. Sorry, we just <laughs> lost our tech connection, unfortunately. We of course. Uh, stand by if you can hear me. We're going to get back. You want to go to Kenny Crowley? Well, on the character issue, the public, you know, two-thirds or more of the public knows that Hillary Clinton's a liar. 
She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing. Uh, oh, no. All right, let's see if we can get Congressman Collins back. Obviously, we just lost the satellite feed. That sucks. Unless you think that CNN's mic cutting is random and isolated, here's an example where they even cut the mic of their own reporter, Brianna Keeler, when she began to speak the plain truth about Hillary Clinton's hypocrisy. Remember, Hillary Clinton has some vulnerabilities herself, even as she calls for criminal justice reform because of her support in the 1990s for anti-crime legislation that ultimately helped contribute to this era of mass incarceration that she now uh, speaks out uh, again. Uh, we just lost uh, we just lost Brianna Keeler, who was in Springfield, Illinois, where Hillary Clinton just spoke. Abruptly ending interviews when things are said that don't line up with their propagandized narrative is something that the communist news network is quite proficient at. They have great disdain for and are highly allergic to the truth. Period. They've been duking people like that. They come out of out from under the rocks all the time around this time this year. It got nothing to do with Donald Trump. We're all Americans. I think we need to stop with all the racist stuff and the race being. Like me and my friend right here, we just met today, we was talking. You know, we gotta stop with the racist stuff and, and this, that. We're all Americans, man. And nobody paying David Duke, don't mind. Um, clearly, <laughs> let, let me just yeah. be clear here. Obviously, the majority of Donald Trump supporters are not African-American. I don't know how yeah. many African-Americans were in that that building, but that is one uh, person that uh, we have chosen to cut that sound from. Uh. And ending interviews when truth makes an appearance is not just a CNN, MSNBC, liberal media thing. Watch Fox News shut down this interview when Brunel Donald Shea tears into and exposes Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama as the nation dividing racists they truly are. And it's important to note that the Fox interviewer brings the whole thing to an end right after Brunel talks about the WikiLeaks revelations of spirit cooking and child sex trafficking in connection with the Clinton campaign. What uh, people have to do is stop allowing the president and Hillary Clinton to divide this nation. We want to heal. We want the races to heal. Americans don't want racial division. We don't want uh, citizens against police. We want our nation to go forward in strength. We are stronger together. Hillary Clinton is yes, right. That's we exactly are stronger together, but we are says. stronger without and Hillary Clinton. We can never be together as long as we have a divider in chief and our president, uh, Barack Obama, supporting this woman who's got the FBI crawling all over her. I think that's more important than trying to link Donald Trump to the KKK. How about she's under federal investigation? How about this spirit cooking uh, we're watching in the WikiLeaks? How about this uh, child sex trafficking rings we're reading about oh, in WikiLeaks? On, that's ladies. far more oh, important than Thank you so Mrs. Much Clinton and than the KKK. It's ladies, not what we need yeah, in the last She's a closet hours. racist. We're closet. Gonna have so much time but we know for she's both out. of you over the next she's week. She's out the closet now. Okay, Brunel, we gotta go. Thank you so much, ladies, Thank for joining you. us. Here, two CNN reporters, Nancy Grace and Ashley Banfield, hold a split-screen supposed satellite interview in the same parking lot. Alternative media journalists quickly pointed out that the same building stood in the background as the same cars zoomed behind the reporters. Even though they were trying for some reason to get their audience to believe otherwise, both Grace and Banfield were only sitting about 30 feet away from one another. So CNN lies to you and feeds you fake and staged news even when they don't have to. CNN has proven time and time again by their actions, their consistent actions, that if they don't have real news, they'll just make something up on the fly embellish or withhold vital truths of a story. And guys, these are just the tip of the iceberg. The examples are many. The false stories from state-controlled publishing companies and networks goes on and on. The internet is replete with examples of fake news coming out of these propaganda machines as they churn out more and more deceptive stories. So when Donald Trump treats CNN and its reporters like this, 
But Go ahead. since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you, not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization. You are attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead, sir. Can Quiet. you state, can, Quiet. Mr. President-elect? Go ahead. Can you state categorically, a question. Mr. President-elect? Can you give us a question? Don't be You're rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us not a question? Give you a I'm you, not going to give you a can question. Can you state categorically? You are fake news, sir. Go ahead. Can you state categorically that nobody? No, Mr. President-elect, that's not appropriate. All you have to do is think back to the evidence of CNN's despicable conduct as presented in this video to realize that Trump's statement to CNN's Jim Acosta is absolutely true. And Acosta's claim that Trump's statement is inappropriate is absolutely false. If you care about honest reporting and respectable journalism, and you want to expose the fakery that is falsely called news by the duped and unthinking masses, share this video with everybody you know. Guys, don't forget to take a second to go to the highimpactflix.com website and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. One way or another, we're going to fight censorship.